figures in this lineup, one of the things that I really love is the fact that all of their sculpts do differentiate from each other quite a bit. So it's not just the same reuse of a mold for all four turtles. This is good since the four turtles have various characteristics that make them quite different from one another in the new Nickelodeon cartoon series. So if you stand Donatello alongside his brothers there, you'll notice that he is the slender and tall one of the bunch. The figure stands about five and a half inches tall, so he's quite a bit above the rest of the turtles, which is exactly how he should be, according to the new cartoon series. He's also got that more slender body design there, and of course has his own unique belt going across his waist with the one strap going across his chest there. And he's wearing the purple bandana, and even the shape of his head is different than the rest of his brothers. And you can see the teeth gritting pose he has there. He even has that little gap between his two front teeth. The figure has a really great paint job there. It's very clean. Uh, he's got this nice kind of pale green color. So he does differentiate just a little bit from his brothers along with that color there, just like with his sculpt. He's got great browns used for the belt, as well as the elbow pads and knee pads. Well, he's got sort of more of a tannish color that's used on his wrist wraps and his ankle wraps. All of that paintwork is nice and clean and don't really have any smudges or anything like that on this guy. So he's very well done in that regard. All right, so these guys are known for their posability. So let's go ahead and check out the articulation on Donatello. The head's on a nice ball joint at both the top of the neck and the bottom of the neck, which gives you a great range of motion, being able to move the head up and down, left and right, and even kind of roll it all the way around there. He's got really nice ball joints at the shoulders, so the arms get a great range of motion going up and down, forwards and backwards, as well as swiveling at the bicep there. He's got very similar ball joints at the elbows underneath that elbow pad, so a great range of motion there along with the nice little swivel. And his wrist can both swivel as well as pivot up and down there. So some really nice poses with the hands. And on top of that, you can even articulate each one of the fingers individually. He does have a nice torso crunch there, which is something that we don't see on a lot of Ninja Turtles figures at all. So you can see it breaks at the shell there, allows you to kind of rock his upper body around a bit. He's got ball joints at the thighs there that are very similar to what we see on his shoulders up there. So you can rotate the thighs around, you can move them forwards, backwards, all around there for a great range of motion. Same with the knees there, great bending underneath the knee pad there. You can also swivel as well. And then he's got some nice ankle articulation where you can completely rotate the foot that is sitting on a ball joint there. So you should be able to get some really nice poses out of this particular Donatello figure along with the rest of the turtles in the Revel Tech lineup. One of the other things that's really great about these guys is not only is the bandana itself articulated so you can bend it around, but it also works like a little joystick that controls the eyes. So turning the bandana left and right moves the eyes left and right. And you can even get it so where you can rotate them all the way off the side there, making his eyes completely whited out in a battle-ready stance just like we see in the cartoon series. Now that articulation is really nice, but because of those ball joints that are used on the Rebel Tech figures here, it can take a little bit of work sometimes to kind of mess around with them and get them in the right poses that you're trying to accomplish. It does take a little bit of twisting and a little bit of patience sometimes because he is so articulated. But you can really pull off some very cool poses that we can't normally get out of a Ninja Turtles action figure. And of course to make those poses even better, he does include a few accessories. Of course, his signature weapon, the bow staff, is included. It's got a very nice paint job there, so you can see it's a dark brown in color, but also has a lighter brown wrap going down the middle. And you will notice that it does have a peg sticking off the back. This is good for two reasons. First of all, he does have a hole in his back on the back of the little bandolier strap there. So that way you can fit this right into that little peg hole, and you can store the bow staff on his back when he's not using it. In addition to that, both of his hands have a little hole right there in the palm. Very similar to what we saw with both Leonardo and Raphael. So that way, he can get a really good grip on the bow staff. You just plug it right into the hole, and then close the fingers around it, and that'll allow you to pull off some really nice battle stances with the bow. 
Now, he also comes with a second bow staff that has a blade attached to the top of it. And the blade itself is also articulated, so it's kind of folded down, and you can just kind of fold it upwards there. And that way, if he needs to use a blade for whatever reason, you've got that option as a weapon as well. One of the really fun things with the Rebel Tech figures is that they all come with interchangeable heads that feature those kind of over-exaggerated, almost anime faces that we often see in the Nick cartoon series. Donatello's here is a lot of fun and very fitting for the character. He's got this drooling head, and in addition to that, has this small little heart attachment that can also be plugged onto the figure. So, in order to do that, the basic head just pops right off the little ball joint peg that's on top. You can also then pull off the back of the bandana and plug it into this new head, and then this will fit right onto that peg. But before we do that, you also want to pull off that neck peg and attach the little heart piece. It's got a little ring, so the peg just plugs right through it. Then you can plug the head on top, and he's all ready to go. This will allow you to display Donatello drooling over April O'Neil as he often does in the cartoon series. You got that cool little heart, you got the wide eyes, the drool hanging out of his mouth. It's a very, very funny and unique pose for your action figure. Now, of course, you don't have to use that heart if you don't want to. So if you want to pop that off and just use the drooling head, you can always have him drooling over something like Mikey's Pizza instead of April. And lastly, he includes a figure stand. Just like with all the other turtles, this isn't an actual stand that you would plug into his feet, but is actually used for aerial poses. Very similar to the others, it's a New York City sewer cover, but this one here is a fire hydrant, and it's got this little ball joint with a peg right there at the top. This plugs into a hole that's at the bottom of Donatello's shell, and it has the ability to articulate around. So that way you can get some really great poses of him doing some jump kicks or some dives, and really allows you some unique ways to display Donatello on your shelf. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at this new Rebel Tech Donatello standing alongside both of the Nick Turtles versions from Playmates Toys. And here he is standing alongside a few of the other collector-oriented Ninja Turtles figures we've received, featuring the NECA comic book turtle and the Playmates Toys classic collection old cartoon and the old movie Donatello figures. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the Revel Tech Donatello action figure. Donnie is definitely one of the better ones in the bunch. I really have no issues with this guy whatsoever, and the only minor things with this guy are the same with all the figures. The fact that they've got all those really wonky ball joints can look a little strange when you have them in a basic pose. Uh, so if you've got them just standing there in a static position... It does look a little strange. You can see all of those joints, and it does break up the sculpt a little bit. But if you play around with them, you can get them in some really cool and unique dynamic poses. And not only does that help kind of hide all the ball joints, but it just looks really cool. That's one of the best things about these guys is the fact that you can pose them around in ways that we've never really been able to pose a Ninja Turtles figure before. So that's one of the best reasons to buy these. I do also really appreciate the cartoon accuracy going on, especially in the head sculpts. And all of the little included anime type heads that come with all of these figures are a lot of fun. Now I don't know if that's a way that I will actually display these guys on my shelf, but I think it's something fun and different that we've never really had with a Turtles figure before and I'm really glad that they were included. These guys look really nice when they are displayed together. And they are sized appropriately enough alongside the Playmates toy stuff. So, like I showed in the Leonardo video, you could pair these guys up with the Shell Razor or even the Sewer playset, and they'd look fine. I really do like this line. Donatello's a great figure here, and overall, I enjoy the Rebel Tech figures. The biggest downfall is the cost. Since they are direct imports from Japan, they run $60 a figure, and that gets pricey when you buy the entire team. I can definitely see this being a niche market thing. Not everybody's going to want to drop that money to complete all four turtles. Hopefully at some point these will actually be issued in the U.S., which means they would be much more affordable. That way a lot more people will actually want to go out and pick these up. Because in my opinion, these are some really great Ninja Turtles action figures. 
So since this is an import from Japan, you'll probably have to pick it up at an online store such as BigBadToyStore.com. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.